Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial and this time I wanted to do it on a breast cancer awareness look and I figured that since it is October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I wanted to make a serious type of makeup tutorial and do a makeup look inspired by breast cancer awareness. Yeah, I was kind of inspired by Nicole Guerrero's video. She made one where she had like a big pink bold eye look and a pink bold lip and it was gorgeous on her but I just felt like it was a little too much for my actual taste so I wanted to kind of make a subtle look that you can actually wear every day so I have a little pop of color of pink under my lower lash line a pink blush and some pink lipstick I wanted to keep it kind of subtle so i am a huge supporter of breast cancer awareness every year i've always worn a pink ribbon for the breast cancer awareness i've always donated i'm just always participating in breast cancer awareness stuff because breast cancer does run in my family i've had family members that have breast cancer or i've have had breast cancer fortunately they did not die from breast cancer they caught it in time and they were able to treat it and things like that which is a blessing for my family so those of you that are watching this video and you breast cancer does run in your family definitely get checked if you are of age and if you, even if you're not of age definitely go out and get checked for breast cancer or just ask around and see if breast cancer runs into in your family because cancer is nothing to play with and especially breast cancer because it has taken so many lives and it's just really nothing to play with so definitely get checked out because you will want to know if you do have it so you could catch it in time because anybody of any age could catch it just wanted to just kind of have that serious note out there but yeah i wanted to make this breast cancer awareness look inspired by pink october is very pink i should have had on a pink shirt but i don't <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoy it also let me know in the comment below if you guys have done a breast cancer awareness look or any type of pink looks because i would love to check it out in the comment below or tweet me pictures of you wearing pink or doing anything supporting breast cancer awareness or instagram it to me because i would love to see it because i am a huge supporter of it and i think that is about it for this intro so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up because it will help me out so much also subscribe if you are new here all of my new loves because i've gained so many in the last like couple of weeks so welcome you guys and subscribe if you're just coming across this video i think that is about it so i hope you guys are having an amazing day and thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video so if you guys would like to see how i got this breast cancer awareness inspired look then be sure to stay tuned thanks guys all right so hi guys i am going to get started with my makeup yes i look rough and it's because it's early in the morning and my nails look horrible and it's just been a long week you guys <sighs> So I'm just going to start out with priming my eyes. I'm using, using what? <laughs> using Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm just going to prime my lids. And I'm also going to take a little bit on my bottom lash line because I will be putting color there as well. Then I'm going to go in with the It's Judy Time Palette and I'm going to take this tan color, just this skin tone brown. And I'm going to use this as my transitional color. Alright, and then I'm going to go in with this reddish brown color out of the palette. As you can see, it's one of my favorite colors out of there because it's almost gone. But I am just going to take it and put it into my outer V and into my crease area. I'm not going to take it above the crease or anything like that. I'm just going to put it directly in the crease and in the outer V. And then I'm going to go in with this dark brown that's right beside it. And I'm going to take that and put it in my crease as well and put it in my outer V. But this time I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it up a little bit higher than what I put the reddish brown color. And I'm just going to blend the two colors together. And this is just going to, as you can see on the other eyes, it's going to work as like my crease color. And this darker brown is just making the crease stand out a little bit more. Then I'm going to go in with the color next to it and I'm just going to darken up that crease. I'm going to put it on top of all of those colors I put in there. You could have left it this step out but I wanted my crease to be really dark so I went ahead and added this step in. Then I'm going to go in with Max Paint Pot and Soft Orchard and I'm just going to put that on that area of my lid where I left it blank. And because I just really need this white color to pop. 
Then I'm gonna go in with a tan, kind of light pink color. It's more tan, but then again, some people might look at it and think it's more of a light pink. But on camera, it's showing up tan. And I'm gonna put this on my lid, as you can see here. And I'm just going to apply a couple of coats on top of my lid and just pack this color on. Then I'm going to go in and touch up the crease area with the colors from before. So I'm going to go in with that dark brown first. And then I'm going to go in with the reddish brown. And I'm just going to blend out the colors together because I don't want any harsh lines. And I just want my shadows to be blended. Alright, and then I'm going to go back in with that light cream color. And I'm going to use that as my brow bone highlight. And I'm just going to highlight both brow bones. <laughs> and for my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with this purple liner from Sephora. I'll have the exact name of it below. And this is just going to, I want to do more of a gradient effect under the eye. So this is going to help with the transitioning of the colors under there. Then I'm going to go in with this pink from this Wet n Wild palette that I have, like a trio from Wet n Wild. It has the color silver, black, and pink in it as you saw. And I'm just going to put that on top of the purple and I'm going to move it over all the way across my eye. And like I said, it's going to give me kind of like a dark pink color to a gradient or a light pink. And now I'm going in with that tag color that's on my lid. And it's just going to work as like a gradient goes from dark pink to middle pink and light pink. Middle pink is not a word. <laughs> and I'm going to line it with Jordana's Fabuliner. Liner. So yeah, I'm just going to create a nice wing. And for mascara, I'm going to be using these two mascaras. I'll have the exact name of them listed below just in case you guys are interested. I'm going to go back in with my face makeup and I'm going to bronze up my face with this NYC bronzer that I use all the time. And I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it in all of my videos. And I'm just going to bronze up my face to just add in a little bit more color. Since this is a pink look, I want to go in with Max Stay Pretty Blush, which is a pink blush, and I'm going to just apply this to the to my cheekbones. And for highlighter, I'm going to be using Laurette's Tranquilizer, and I'm just going to highlight the highest points of my cheekbones, the uh, down the bridge of my nose, cupid's bow, and everywhere. <laughs> And I'm just going to blend everything together with that powder brush that I applied my powder with. Alright, and for lips, I'm going to be using a lip liner from Jordana. It is in the color Baby Berry. I think I've been using this in all of my tutorials this week. But it's just a pink liner and I'm just going to line my lips with this. I'm going to be using two lipsticks for this look. The first one is a MAC lipstick in the color Pink Nouveau. And it's just, you really can leave it at this. You don't have to use both pinks, but I want it to be extra. And I didn't want to put on a gloss, so I went in with the other lipstick, which is kind of weird, but yeah, it came together. Then I'm going to go in with Pink Pop from Maybelline, which is from their Vivids collection. And I just put that on top of Pink Nouveau. And that is the completed look. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.